okay now we are going to the second method of prime factorization the heading is using any two factors as a starting point using any two factors as a starting point okay the first question is 51 51 so 51 you have to you have to find out the factor of 51 so any two factors so i have taken 3 3 so 51 is divided by 3 so 1 3 is a 3 5 minus 3 you can get 2 so bring down is a 2 and compare with 3 2 is lesser than 3 so bring down the next digit that is 1 so 7 3 is a 21 21 minus 21 0 so 3 into 17 that is what i tell you 51 is divided by 3 you can get the answer is 17 so 3 into 17 you can get 51 so these two are the factors so 17 you should not because you should not take out 17 because it's a prime number and this also prime number so 3 into 17 what is the 3 into 17 is a factor of 51 so 51 is equal to 3 into what 3 into 17 so 3 into 17 both numbers that means 3 and 17 these number are prime numbers so we can call it as a prime factorization method but it is using any two factors as a starting point any factors using any two factors okay next is 32 what is the next number next to sum that is 32 what is the next number 32 so we have to find out for this so first we have to uh, uh, any two factors only they have given the heading so I have taken 4 and the next is 8 4 and 8 that is if you divide if you divide 32 is divided by if you divide by 4 you can get 8 otherwise 32 is divided by 4 you can get 8 so after 8 I have to take what is this 2 into 4 again I have to take 2 into 2 okay so 4 into 8 you can get 32 if you take 8 you can get 2 into 4 2 into 4 so again you will get 4 you take a 4 as a factor so 2 into 2 so what are the factors 4 2 2 then 2 so 1 2 3 4 all these factors 32 4 into 2 into 2 into 2 so 4 2s are 8 8 2s are 16 16 into 2 what 32 so this is the factors but it is all all are not prime factors because it's a composite number and these are what is a prime numbers so but they said any two factors they said any two factors that is what we consider what composite number also as a factor okay so 32 what is the answer 4 into 2 into 2 into 2 so 4 into 2 8 8 2s are 16 16 to 32 so 32 what are the factors of 32 4 into 2 into 2 into 2 okay so i'll repeat the same sum again 32 is the question so 4 into 2 the 4 into 8 is equal to 32 if 32 is divided by 4 you can get 8 otherwise 4 into 8 you can get 32 so 4 and 8 are the factors 4 and 8 are the factors of 32 so next 8 is divided by 2 2 into 4 so 2 into 4 you can get 8 again so again 4 you have to split so 2 into 2 we can get 4 so 4 2 and 2 and 2 the last you have to take the two numbers i've told you already so 4 into 2 into 2 into 2 these are the factors of what 32 the next number is the next question is 90 okay this also you have to take any two factors so I am going to take 90 is divided by 5. If I divided by 5, I will get what? 18. So you just check it. 90 is divided by 5. 1, 5 is a 5. 9 minus 5, you can get 4. So take down and bring down this digit 0. So 8, 5 is a what? 40, 0. So 18. So 5 into 18, you can get 90 or else. 90 is divided by 5 you can get 18 so 5 and 18 these two are the factors of 90 next i have to take down 80 so 2 into 9 you can get 18 again i have to what 3 into 3 you can get 9 so these are the factors 
5, 2, 3 and 3. So, all the factors. So, 90 is equal to 5 into 2 into 3 into 3. So, 5 twos are 10. 10 into 3, 30. 33, 90. So, 90. What is the factor of 90? 5 into 2 into 3 into 3. So, these are the factors of 90. Okay. So, and this sum is also over. So, from but in this sum, 5, 2 and 3 all are prime numbers. So, we can call it as a prime factorization. The next sum. The next is fourth sum that is 81. So, you have to find the factors of 81. So, first 81 what is the question you using any two factors so i have taken any fact two factors that is 9 into 9 you can get 81 or else 81 is divided by 9 you can get 9 so 9 into 9 81 so 9 means you can get 3 into 3 so so 9 is the what factor and what 3 is a factor again 3 is a factor for 81 you can get 9 into 3 into then what? 3. So 9 3s are 27. 27 into 3 what? 81. So these are the factors. Okay. 81 what is the factor? 9 into 3 into 3. So 9 is a what? It is a composite number and this is a prime number. But in this question any two factors only they mention. That is what we combined composite as well as the prime number. It is also a factorization method. 81 is equal to 9 into 3. 9 into 3 into 3. 9 into 3, 27. 27 into 3, you can get 81. 7 3s are 21. 1 carry 1. The remainder is 2. 2 3s are 6. 6 2s are what? 81. So 9 into 3 into 3. 81 is also 81. You can get. So this is the factor of 81. What is the answer? 9 into 3 into 3. And that's all uh, today's sums and today's uh, factor. Everything is almost over. Next class, we are going to see highest common factor. That is highest common factor means HCF. Okay. We will see in the next class. Thank you.